Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome to the Dr. C channel, thank you very much for tuning in. And what have I got for you today? Well, what you see here is an RC airplane, or part thereof, it doesn't really fit in screen. Don't worry, in a few minutes you'll see the ent entire plane when we take it out. But what I'll actually be testing in this video is this here receiver, which has a couple of aces up its sleeve. But does it work well? That's uh, the object of this uh, test to see if it actually works well. Let's zoom in on that receiver a bit. There you go, a, a small little receiver. Now the plane I just show, showed you is a park flyer. So a line of sight, not a long distance airplane. And as you can also see this receiver has only one antenna, which makes me think it's, a, uh, it's not a long range or full range receiver. Nevertheless, it's still interesting. And uh, by the way, uh, one of my uh, subscribers, viewers, actually uh, tested this receiver uh, already. And um, he gave me his feedback, uh, as you can see here. So thank you very much for that. And, well, um, basically I could just uh, end the video with, with that, with those uh, findings and call it a day. But uh, no, well, uh, test it uh, of course. Now... This is a pretty small receiver, here is an uh, actual FR Sky receiver and this receiver over here should be FR Sky compatible. As you can hopefully see these receivers are more or less exactly the same size. This however is a 4 channel receiver, a D4R version 2, where this one is an 8 channel receiver. Same size. So that might actually be interesting, however the real ace up its sleeve on this receiver is that it has a voltage telemetry or telemetry plus a voltage sensor. With this EverSky receiver you'd have to run a separate external voltage sensor, which is perfectly uh, possible of course. It has a smart port over here for that. However, yeah, maybe on a park flyer, small plane, you don't really have the room for an extra uh, sensor. Or you don't want uh, to have the extra weight. Um, so, yeah, for small little planes, uh, it's obviously very beneficial to have voltage uh, telemetry, right? Otherwise you'd uh, need to run a, a buzzer maybe for uh, your voltage alarm. But uh, this way you can run the voltage alarm in your transmitter. Cool stuff. Yeah, cool stuff if it actually <laughs> works. So, um, uh, one thing. Uh, FR Sky receivers always have, always, mostly, well all the FR Sky receivers I've tried have a bind button. It's over here on this receiver. A button which you uh, hold on to and then power up the receiver and it'll be in bind mode. This receiver does not have a button but it comes with a bind plug which is uh, pretty common in the spectrum world as you might know. But it will work perfectly and you attach it on the top pin. Uh, what is that? Oh it's actually called bind. Okay, so that, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty easy, of course. So what I'll do is I'll uh, install this receiver in uh, that airplane you saw a minute ago, and I'll hook up the sensor. It actually has two voltage sensors, A1 and A2, and the top pin is ground. So yeah, maybe you want to uh, keep an eye on two voltages. Your uh, battery voltage maybe and your receiver voltage. I'll just be running one sensor. And I am not completely sure if you need to use that ground pin. On a lot of sensors you don't. I'll put that on screen for you right now if, uh, if I found that to be uh, needed. Now what you uh, also need is... Uh, a servo lead. Maybe you have a broken servo which you can clip the lead off of and you just uh, attach it to these pins over here. The pins on the other side are obviously your signal pins, your eight signal pins. So and um, 
I'll uh, connect the red wire of this servo lead to the plus, the positive terminal of my uh, LiPo, or uh, rather uh, the ESC, right? And that way I should have voltage telemetry and um, let's actually uh, go out to the field and see if that works. Here we go! Alright, here's the rest of our aeroplane. It is an old plane from Hobby King, the Pushy Cat or Fly Cat. And um, yeah, I've got the receiver tucked in here and we'll be testing two things. The range, obviously, is this uh, receiver useful at all? And that uh, voltage sensor. Um, and it's windy. I hope you'll be able to hear me well enough. It's really windy. But um, I've set my transmitter. I'll be uh, flying it with the X10S from FR Sky. I've set my radio up so that it'll call out the voltage when the voltage drops below 3.9 per, uh, per cell. Uh, that's obviously not what I'll be using in real life, but for this test that, that should work out. So uh, we should be hearing voltages after a while. What we should not be hearing is RSSR low, uh, RSSI low, right? I'll call it a fail for that receiver if we ever hear uh, RSSI low during the flight. And I'll be uh, flying it line of sight here. Right, so uh, line of sight uh, range should uh, definitely be no problem for any receiver, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me hook things up and we'll uh, throw this baby in the air. Here we go. Telemetry lost. Telemetry okay. recovered. Okay, telemetry. Damn it. Telemetry lost while the telemetry transmitter recovered. is this close to, re <laughs> to, the, to the receiver is pretty normal telemetry with, lost. with FR Sky systems, regrettably. Telemetry recovered. Okay, let's go. Okay, again, I am very sorry about the wind noise. I do have an external uh, microphone. Oh, I have to do some trimming as well. 11.6 I do have an external microphone on my camera with a wind sock, but even that will probably not be enough. It is very windy. Oh, and I should have set more ex expo. Um, I've set something wrong in my transmitter, the, the, uh, the, the, the alarm voltage, because it's uh, calling out, volts. it's calling out voltages all the time somehow. That's okay, you'll be hopefully able to hear, hear that, let's throttle on up. Did you? I hope you hear that. 11.3 volts. So obviously I don't want <laughs> uh, a voltage being called out all the time. So I'll have to tweak uh, the the, volts. the switch point of my logical switch. Maybe I calculated it with a 4S LiPo uh, because I always fly 4S LiPo somehow. It doesn't matter. It, it, it works. My transmitter is uh, calling out voltages. When I um, <coughs> took off, or well, rather before I took off, uh, my voltage was 12 volts. This is 11.2 uh, volts. 11 .2 volts. This is a pretty old LiPo, so it probably is not able to hold voltage very uh, well anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A very, uh, this uh, LiPo is is at least four years old, at least. So it's six. Just fine for this test. Now you uh, probably have a hard time seeing the airplane. Maybe, you, maybe you can't see it anymore at all. I'm flying pretty high up to test the range, right? And again, I do not want to hear RSSI low while flying. 
11.2 volts. Oh, the voltage isn't sagging much anymore. That's nice. I'm at uh, around 50% throttle. And I, what I'm doing now, and you can't see the plane anymore at all by now, I think. I am flying kind of uh, on the edge of what of my visual range. Does that make sense? I mean, if this receiver has this kind of range, it's good enough for line of sight flying. And it is. Uh, I never fly this high up or far away at all. With park flyers, that is. I, again, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel safe using this receiver with just one antenna on, for instance, uh, FPV things, airplanes, quadcopters. Well, it's not a quadcopter uh, receiver. But um, like this, it's a win. It's a definite win, and I'm happy about it. Now. It could have been a fail and that would have been fine as well. I just wouldn't have ordered more of these receivers and you shouldn't order any of these receivers if we would have had an RSSI low. 11.1 It's hard to trim out a plane in this much wind by the way. <laughs> but it flies. It's a very nice plane. It's a shame it's not uh, available uh, anymore. Oh well. Okay. Well, I am uh, obviously flying closer in by now. Uh, the receiver should not have any problem at all with this. But, uh, well, we already tested its range and works. I hope you were able to uh, hear 11.8 or 10.8. I, I hope you were able to hear my uh, radio calling out the voltages. And it's a pretty cheap receiver as well, but uh, yeah, mainly the, that inbuilt voltage sensor. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, order up a few more for park flyers. Obviously, while line of uh, sight, uh, while flying line of sight, it is very, very beneficial to have a voltage sensor, to have voltage telemetry, so you uh, know. isn't as bad as I had expected really. But we are not testing a lipo, we are testing a receiver. Eighty percent throttle. Okay, cool stuff. Um, let's uh, conclude this test. The receiver works. No RSSI low at all. Even at the edge of my visual range. And uh, my eyes uh, still pre uh, work pretty well. <laughs> and the uh, voltage uh, sensor stuff works. Cool. Successful. Now, uh, obviously, there's a link uh, in the description to this receiver if you are interested. It is uh, obviously also uh, only for FR Sky systems. But uh, okay, I'm glad. Cheap, uh, cheap receiver and it works. Plus a bonus voltage sensor. Okay, I'm looking into the sun, so I'm not sure what you'll be able to see now, but not much. 
let's land this puppy. No, I don't want to walk that far. <laughs> Up. Hot damn, that was uh, an ugly landing. <laughs> well, it's not, not an ugly landing. I think the propeller snagged on something. Oh, the prop saver is still done. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, quite a nice receiver. Um, yeah. You can't see the receiver. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, catch you on the next video. Bye bye.